Hey everybody, welcome back and continuing where we left off in our last lesson. What we're going to do now is make sure that we're going to manipulate our mesh here, but we're only going to be really using the move topological brush. We're not really going to be sculpting um, just yet. And the reason that we're going to go ahead and do it like this is because we want to make sure that we have a very, very solid foundation for our sculpting phase of our character. Okay, so now that you can see that I have our uh, Rhino head spotlight back and also our base mesh here, we're just going to go ahead and just try and manipulate our mesh. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get this into place here. And let's just begin manipulating our mesh. Now, like I said earlier, we're not really going to be creating uh, the mesh that you see here or the image that you see here. Um, we're going to be doing a more stylized view or stylized character but we want to make sure that we um, get that general shape to really look like a rhino um, <clears throat> you can play with the the shape any way that you want uh, but we want to make sure here that we at least get the general fill of a rhino so we'll just go ahead here and just start playing with our base shape and just start manipulating um, what we want here so we can probably go ahead and push this stuff in maybe pull the mouth down here and the chin down here just a little bit um, our cheekbones are going to be you know pretty much here so if we go ahead and turn to the side here we can start pulling out our cheeks as well this is basically just like modeling um, inside of Maya but this allows you to do it much easier than than really doing it inside of Maya let's go ahead here and maybe push him underneath of the deltoids here and we can or let's go ahead and pull out for the shoulders and for the deltoids. Okay, can probably open up the chest here a little bit. And let's see if we can't get what would be the, the chest piece here. And this almost looks like the horse piece from Mom. Um, from chess but uh, it's, it's gonna be a rhino so we, we just want to make sure that we um, get all these base shapes and forms uh, where they need to be and with with it being um, a little more stylized we want to make sure that we kind of blow everything out a little bit and um, try to accentuate a lot of things uh, we don't necessarily want it to be um, realistic. We, we want to try to make it uh, be as stylized as we can. So you can see here we're um, for the ear. Um, we want to try to maintain the shape if we can. Um, but you know, making that shape a little bit extra. Um, is really what we're, we want to do here so uh, looks like we're gonna have to maybe pull this one down we can go ahead and pull this out actually pull the whole thing down here a little bit okay probably gonna have to round off the head here just a little little bit have to push the ears here forward a little bit and a lot of this is just basically pl playing with the shape um, to get the general shape that you would want um, and this also helps you idea out the uh, sketch that you're really trying to create because you don't want to just randomly sculpt um, you definitely want to idea out uh, what you're doing 
I think we're okay there with the overall general shape. Um, we're definitely going to have to play here a little more. And let's go ahead and Well, we can always go ahead and pull this up as well. Maybe pull this area up because these would be where the horns are. Let's take a look. Okay, so maybe we should actually pull that one down. That one as well. here we're definitely going to have to uh, maybe pull those out but we're definitely going to have to pull the chin down here a little more we can always go ahead and pull the cheeks down as well and you can fatten them up if needed um, and you can see that I'm really doing this on just you know a single subdivision uh, if you want to go ahead and jump up to subdivision level 2 you can um, our geometry is still basically going to be very good because you can see how low um, our regular or our initial geometry is and um, for the most part I mean this is clean geometry the only real uh, maybe problematic area here is at the top of the head but even this really isn't that bad um, when we really get into sculpting here and we start Z remeshing and uh, other stuff it, it, it's going to tend to take care of that so uh, that's not really a massive problem let's go ahead and maybe smooth that area out there and we'll just try and play with the shape here just a little bit more um, we can always round that out a little bit better if we wanted to um, for where the lips would be here we can probably pull that out just a little bit um, just trying to play with the shape here as much as I can and that's where that uh, initial image really comes into play because it does help you get that um, base shape but from that base shape you can see that we're um, really trying to create the look that we're going for here so let's go ahead and maybe bring out the chest a little bit here and we can probably just make it a little bit wider because we also want to make sure that um, we have enough below the the deltoid area and the shoulder area so that whenever we render this um, we leave ourselves an, at least enough geometry here that's cut off below the line so that we don't actually see the um, like the uh, detachment or decapitation you want to give that at least illusion that there is still a full body there. Okay, so let's go ahead in here and try and manipulate our ears a little bit here. And you can see that I tend to do this at a very um, slow amount. Uh, I don't really do it in you know huge manipulations. Make, it just makes it much easier to do it small because if I make a, a rather large mistake it's probably going to be problematic later on down the road so it's easier just to, to go in and play with the shape rather than um, making huge adjustments something like that I'm just trying to round out the head here a little bit 
because there it looked a little bit too square. Okay, so we'll oh, let me turn the intensity back up there. Pull that shoulder down area down just a little bit there. and his pectoral muscles are going to be right there but that might be a little bit too much of a pull out so we'll just go ahead and push that back a little bit there let's go ahead and bring back the image let's take a look at where we're at compared to that <clears throat> and I think that um, you can see where we're more rounded um, I think the top of our head here is probably just a little bit too high. I can probably pull the back here up a little bit. We're more of a rounded shape um, compared to what the spotlight image here is. It's, this is a more um, flat shape. So I think we're okay in terms of the uh, general structure here. deltoid there and I think we're we're probably okay for our face shape um, you guys can always go ahead and manipulate it more if you wanted to um, but I think for myself uh, I think I'm okay in terms of what I'm trying to go ahead and create here um, maybe I should go ahead and actually pull the, the cheek here back just a little bit more I think I'm liking that shape just a little bit better there. Can maybe push this side area in. And go ahead and actually keep pulling this out just a little bit more. Okay, so at this point I think I'm okay in terms of um, the base shape. So uh, in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and we'll start sculpting our head um, and you guys can continue manipulating the mesh uh, really any way that you want um, definitely feel free to use your own sort of uh, vision here uh, and then we'll go ahead and come back and we will start sculpting our head so come on back everybody <laughs>